Hi friends, today I'm going to play with an idea that my daughter gave me with some coffee. I have coffee in a bowl. I'm just going to do, um, I'm using water um, color paper. And I'll show you the pad that I have here. Um, it's uh, 4 by 6, um, 140 pound water color paper. So I'm just playing with it. My first time trying it. And I'm just going to do some playing around. Stain with some coffee. So I thought I'd play with it. See what we can get. I don't know. I'm using a 12 brush and I'm using a 5 brush. I'm just playing with it. I'm trying to make it uh, a tree. It's kind of what I came up with, I think. Just to kind of see where I can take it. And maybe that brush was too thick to begin with. But anyways, I used... There. So I'm just going to play with it now. Hmm. So I'll give it a dry in between here and um, we'll see what we can come up with. See. <laughs> but this is, a, it's, I guess it's called the, you know, the uh, coffee challenge, the paint or to art coffee stain or something like that. So I'm just going to play with it. I did one layer here. And I'm going to continue playing with it. It's my second layer. Dry it up in between. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Third layer in here. And just regular coffee. I got quite the shadowing going. I guess we should have my other lights on in my room. <laughs> I'll do that for my next one. So I'm going to dry this up. Well, I thought a tree might be a good idea, but I'm not sure. But I, just, I guess that's the first thing that came to my mind. I was like, to do a tree. So I'll dry it up again. This is the third layer. Fourth layer. I did 10 layers, I think, <laughs> I'll have to look, go back, um, to stain it darker, my tree, and I thought it was really cool, and I was kind of going different little directions a little bit just to get a really unique look, so I thought that was interesting. I'm going to play with it more now, and uh, eh, I don't know, a little bit be more specific on some things, and maybe add... Maybe I'll add some branches. I don't know. I wanted to maybe add some flowers or something, but 
It just takes so long to stain. Don't know how that would work. It does take quite a bit to stain. Maybe I could just kind of make something that looks like leaves, foliage. <clears throat> I wasn't sure how detailed I can get. It's just experimenting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry this up. This is my first um, layer of foliage, um, leaves and whatnot. So I'm going to continue with that and I'm just going to go through the video maybe a little bit faster. I'm not sure how many um, layers I'm going to need. And I'll just speed through that. thing I'm just going to quickly share actually is I'm just doing the edge, very edge, and um, just like I was inking the edge or something, I'm just adding some brown to the edge, and that's it, and drying that off. Just to, I don't know, tie it all in together, and that's that. That's my piece. I just wanted to share that quickly at the end because I'm going to have a picture up and, and it's going to be like, there's something different. I want to have a bit of an edge, so. Don't know. It just reminds me of like a the, the honey tree that Winnie the Pooh is like, you know, sap side or something like that. I don't know why. But anyways, that is it. So, yeah. We're going to do a challenge on our family art channel. And um, we're going to try to see how many different things we can paint um, using this process. So if you guys wish to join us, I'll put a link um, for you guys to check that out. Bye.